David Austin roses. Now, I had like two orders and only one of them had a shipping notification. So hopefully I get both of the orders. And also, this should be four roses, but last year when I ordered more than one, I only got one. So let's see. So like all of my roses outside are like fully leafed out already. And I think that I had these shipped at the same time last year, like the spring. And when I planted them, like nothing else had any leaves or anything. So I assume they came at the same time. I don't know, I'm really bad at keeping track of times. So pokey. So many dolls. Okay, so we have one. Wow, these need some water. Look at the roots on this. Oh my gosh. Those are some nice roots. This is the Wallerton Old Hall uh, Climbing Rose. I'm actually gonna put this in my vegetable garden. I have like a wisteria on the arch and I'm hoping I can put this on the other side. And then like, once the wisteria is done blooming, maybe this will be getting big and I cut back the wisteria this will kind of take over for the rest of the summer and then obviously I have to prune both of them but this looks so good oh, tripping over boxes look at all the buds oh she's beautiful although I feel like this one should be called the he because Waller Wallerton sounds like a guy's name I'm excited for this I think it's like a yellow like a creamy, I think it's yellow and the fades to cream climbing rose. And I think it's supposed to smell really good, which I'm excited about. And then I had three of the same. Princess Alexandria, or Alexandra? Alexandra of Kent. And this is supposed to be like a really dark, uh, like rich pink color. Now these don't have as many buds. This like whole one only has like one pretty good bud, maybe like two. So it just has like this bud and then a couple like over here, but I don't really see any more. This is just um, a shrub rose and it's supposed to get like huge flowers on it, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna put this in my new flower bed that's like bigger. I kinda wanted it to have like a lot of roses and then a lot of pollinator attractors in it. And I'm excited about this. Now I should have another one, another shipment coming that I ordered before I ordered these ones. And it is the Wild Eve roses. And I'm really excited that I was able to get those before they went out of stock. So hopefully I actually get them. Because like I said, last year I ordered a set of three of Emily Brontes and I only got one. Which is like not a big deal, but I ordered three for a reason. Because I want three. And then when I like contacted them, they were like, well, we're sold out. So we don't have any more. We'll just give you a refund. But... I am excited, trying to go get these guys in some water. Now it's like really raining today, so I don't think I'm gonna get them planted today, but I'm gonna soak them in water. I think I saw, I'm gonna have to like double check how long I can leave them in water, but I think on Garden Answer, she had some that she couldn't plant out right away. I think she just left them in water in her garage. So that might be what I do. I think it's supposed to be nicer tomorrow. Um, it's, it was like raining and snowing and then raining again. So I don't know what's going on, but it is freezing outside. I don't want to go dig holes right now. So let's get these guys some water. 
I'm so excited. They're gonna be so pretty.